Let us start with market basket analysis, which is also known as association rule mining or affinity analysis. So first question which arises is what is market basket analysis and why should I learn it? So it is a widely used data science method which detects patterns of item commonly bought together. One very good strategy which is used by retailer for upselling and all the major players of retailer whether it is Walmart, Amazon, eBay, Netflix all these are leveraging this technique to boost the customer spending. So all those uh, budding scientists or data scientists uh, who want to do mastering uh, you know want to do ma uh, marketing analytics or want to master ma market basket analysis can elevate their profile in job interviews leaving a lasting impression on prospective employers so another very important question which is asked is is market basket analysis a supervised or unsupervised machine learning technique first it is yes machine learning technique but a unsupervised machine learning technique because it focuses on uncovering the uh, patterns and relationship among items or combination of items that are frequently purchased together the uh, algorithm behind this uh, market basket analysis is known as a a priori algorithm another question which is being asked is what is support lift and confidence so a priori algorithm which is a widely used technique for market basket analysis aiming to identify correlations between items which are purchased by the user so the three important metrics or we can say measurements which are used to calculate this market basket is the support lift and confidence what is support it is a major matrix which actually calculate the frequency of the occurrences of the item set in the data set for example if you want to check uh, popcorn milk and cereal how many time how frequently these are appearing in the purchases if they are appearing most frequently then you will going to find that the support is very high second important thing is the lift so it quantifies the likelihood of the two items being purchased together compared to their individual probabilities so if the outcome of lift is greater than one which indicate that the items are positively correlated otherwise negatively so for example if the lift between popcorn and milk is 1.5 which means that the customers are 1.5 times more likely to buy milk when they buy popcorn then comes the confidence it measures the reliability of the association rule it calculates the probability of finding the consecutive item in the transaction so let us see an example if the confidence of the rule is popcorn and you can see milk it comes out to be 0.8 that means 80% of the transactions containing popcorn also contain the milk uh, we will also going to do all these things in the python so you will going to calculate and see what is going in the grocery data set let us see an example over here we want to analyze the association between two product which is coffee and milk and uh, you have seen in the transaction that uh, coffee and milk if uh, they are purchased together in th uh, 300 out of you know uh, 1000 transactions so coffee was purchased in 600 transaction milk was purchased in 500 transaction so if we calculate the lift value the formula you can see over here which is simple probability formula and uh, here we are, can see uh, that if we are putting all these values of which we have calculated so purchased together coffee and milk how many time they were purchased together 300 time then we have put uh, you know individually how much uh, how many time they were purchased so 600 time coffee was purchased and then we have put the value of milk which was purchased 500 time then the automatically you can see the uh, uh, the lift was uh, calculated and it comes out to be one point time 25 which comes which is higher than what we would expect if the two products were purchased independently so now let us see and uh, go and see what we can do in the python let us start uh, learning market basket analysis using python so here you can see a Jupyter notebook where we have installed ml extend and uh, imported pandas and ml extend as well we have read the data set and you can see the grocery data set we have taken already this is the step one 
now you can see once we have done that this is the kind of data set we have so uh, if we see if this contains the information on purchases made at a grocery store which include the transaction date as well as the transaction description and the unique customer id now what we will going to do we will use it this data frame to perform market basket analysis and identify items combination that are frequently brought together so now what we have going to do in the step 3 you must see that we have prepared the data for the market basket analysis so before we perform market basket analysis we need to convert this data into a format that can easily be ingested into the a priori algorithm and uh, here we need to turn it into a tabular structure comprising ones and zeros and you can see it is displayed in the bread and milk example above uh, that uh, to achieve the example uh, to achieve that we need the first group items that have the same member number and date now uh, it will going to provide you with a list of product purchased in the same transaction the single transaction variable combines the member number and date and tells us that the item purchased in one receipt now let's uh, pivot this table to convert the item into columns and the transactions into rows now the resulting table which tells us how many times each item has been purchased in one transaction there are over a hundred columns with uh, most people only shop for two three items which is why this table is sparse and mostly comprised of zeros the final uh, data preprocessing step involve encoding all values in the above data frame to 0 and 1 and this means that even if there are multiples of the same item in the same transaction the values will be encoded to 1 since market basket analysis does not take purchase frequency into consideration now let us run the following line of code to achieve the above uh, you know whatever we have discussed now let us see the step 4 so we need to build the a prior algorithm for market asket analysis so now let's import the a priori algorithm from the ml extend python package and use it to discover frequently brought together items combination now you can see this is the from ml extend frequent pattern this is the code in the line 14 which we need to run now you will again going to get this result once you have done all these things now what how you will going to read this here you can see the antecedents and the consequence uh, column which shows item that are frequently purchased together. So in this example, the first row of the data set tells us that if a person were to buy bo uh, you know, bottled water, then they are also likely to purchase the milk, UHT milk, right? To get the most frequent item combination in the entire data set let us sort this data set by the three metrics that we have already learned support confidence and lift now you can see in the 15th line we have already written the code where we are going to focus upon support confidence and so lift. if we see the resulting table which shows the four most popular product combination that are frequently brought together are rolls and milk yogurt and milk sausages and milk as well as soda and vegetables now what can be the reason one reason this could be the grocery store uh, ran any kind of a prom promotion on these items together or they must have displayed them together within the same line of sight to improve the sales and this can be the reason so all these things what we have learned uh, is related to the market basket analysis also known as association rule mining or effort in analysis to improve the sales to find out how which items are purchased together this is a very important marketing data science technique which you should add in your resume thank you so